All right, our last lesson here is the area of sectors and segments. A sector is a portion of a circle that's all filled in kind of like a pie slice. Each of these is an example of a different sector of a circle. And you can imagine each one of these sort of being filled in to create a whole circle. And you can see that each one of them represents some portion of what would be an otherwise full circle. And that's actually how we calculate the area of a sector. We calculate the entire area of the circle and then figure out what portion of the circle that sector is and then you know, apply that portion of it to the total area. So if we, for instance, said that this sector right here represented, um, oh, I don't know, uh, nine-tenths of the circle. Yeah, if this sector represents nine tenths of the circle and the area of the circle is 20 units, then this segment then would be nine tenths of 20 or 18 units. So you can see that really we just do it very similar to the way we did uh, the length of an arc. Yeah, the only difference between a segment uh, sector here, like we're talking about here, and a segment is that the segment then is a portion of a sector. It's just as if you draw a line across the circle and then fill in the section between that line and the edge of the circle. So this area I'm coloring in red in here represents a segment because we drew this this line across the circle here and then filled in between it and the edge. Now there's also actually at the same time there's a larger segment on the other side but generally we deal with the smaller one and then just pull it out of the total. And what we do to calculate the area of a segment is to calculate the area of the sector that it represents, so from here to here, the same way we calculated these other er other segments down over here, and then we calculate the area of the triangle that's formed by these three points. I'll get another color in there. Find the area of the triangle that's formed by these three points right here, and we subtract it from the area of the entire sector. And we'll do a couple of these in the examples, and I think you'll get the get the idea. But really, it's it's not nearly as complicated as it sounds. Find the area of the entire circle, find out what portion of the circle your sector represents, and then take that portion of the area to give you the area of the sector, and then subtract the section of a triangle. And remember, the triangle is just one half base times height, right? Subtract the area of the triangle from that total area, and that'll give you just the area that I have outlined here in red, or the area of the segment. All right, let's try them out. Zoom on down to the bottom of the page here and take a look at the examples.